The journey through duty free, temptation at every turn. Duty free. I always want to buy stuff in duty free. And there's always people that are hanging around ready to pounce on you. And I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> well, we need to go and get you a swimming costume now. Yeah, I think I should get this then. Flight ready now. You look extremely legal. Um, I think there's a swimming costume shop over to the right. Harry Potter shop. Get yourself a Harry Potter cosy. Yeah. Uh, Oliver Bonus. Oh, it's a JD Sports. That yep. Oh, Oliver Bonus, bonus yeah. swimming costume. That won't have a swimming costume. Kath Kidston crocheted swimming costume. <laughs> Wittard, a swimming costume made out of tea. Yeah, and you fit, it's like a tea bag and you fill the uh, swimming pool with tea flavours. It, it pours out of the bag. You're a genius. Super dry? No. No. Fat face? I've already got one of those. Surprise. Ah! <laughs> that guy was taking no business. Go. That's quite nice. This, percent that's off is the top half. It's the top half. Great! Tits out for the land. Baby. On this motherfucking plane! Welcome to Budapest. We are outside. We are outside St. Stephen's Basilica, which is fully made of cheese. And, uh, you can queue up and meet Jesus. So we're going to do that. And um, apparently there's some chalices in there and a mummified hand. And all things are nice. Off you go. <laughs> you can do your introduction as well if you like. And you, you've stolen all my best bits. It's... Uh, um, no, do it properly. St. Stephen's Basilica? No. Welcome do you, to St. Do Stephen's Basilica. Do your introduction. <laughs> now it looks like I've done three introductions. No. Stop getting closer, <laughs> I'm moving backwards. <laughs> Okay. You're too far away and I can't hear you now. Bridge, you stop banging on about it. It was made by Fleetwood Mac and it's because it keeps Hess and Buddha together. Right, unlike the Margaret Bridge and the Elizabeth Bridge, those slackers. Hey. Don't know why they even bother. I feel like this one was first though, was it okay. not? Okay, that speaks me. I feel 
feel incredibly uncomfortable. Don't lean on that, that's horrible. Yeah, is this making you nervous? It's making me very nervous. I'm trying to steady myself because oh, it's, it's, it's a bit all, down as well. It's a bit scary. The, the Danube is very clear, especially when you compare it to the Thames. Yes, we did all day. Just lock on. Like you should have to hang out the window as we go up. This is uh, taking us up to the castle district. That is quite steep. Glad we're not walking up it. Yeah, me too. At least I hope we've gone into the funicular. If we just walked into a shed and they're all <laughs> wondering why we're stood in here, that'd be a bit of an embarrassment. How does this work then? Just get pulled up on a on a rope. It's like a sideways lift. Yeah. Hopefully, did the door right. Doors close automatically and open manually. Ah, good. No, no risk of fall. Did you feel it move then? No, I did that. Mm. Go. So it's only got one side for up and one side for down. No. <laughs> Are we supposed to look out the window or are we supposed to look out of the view behind us instead of looking at these loose bags? I don't know. Oh, let's see what's going on. What do you think of the National Art I think it's the National Art Gallery? Whatever that means. It was all pretty much a kind of art in there, wasn't it? All Victorian, all dark. Good depictions of light. Yeah. And shadow. I'm a big fan of paintings that have got strange light to them. If anyone can paint a lamp, that's always good. And mm. they had paintings of velvet and fur, which always amazes me. Couldn't have designed it better for a Nikki. No, it was really quiet in there as well. I guess the end of January isn't a big holiday season for Budapest because even, even the big streets have been in, they've been not too busy. There's plenty of people up here though. Yeah, got to figure out a way to get back down now to the market hall to even get some snacks. Maybe and beer. beer. Two beers. Four beers. I'm glad we got the finicure up because it's so hard walking up this hill. Luckily it looks like it's the only hill in Budapest. Apart from that one over there that's bigger. That guy definitely <laughs> getting a bus up. <laughs> There's a yeah. path that runs up the side of it. Nah, no, nah, that can't be for humans. That must be there for, for the wildlife. I think. Yeah. No human can walk up a hill that big. No. That rain is cold though. Let's head on and see what we find out. Go and buy a paprika beer. Yeah. Okay. A small clanger and tiny clanger are going to the soup wells to find the soup dragon and ask her for some soup. We are in the central food hall, which has delicacies like whole cabbage, tiny bottles of booze and all the sausage you could ever eat. 
So how many cabbages do you reckon we can eat before we get back to England? Four. So we have four cabbages. Uh, take them home to the hotel tonight. I have a bit of bed snack. Yeah. So we're about to eat a langosh, sour cream and cheese and fried dough. We've already eaten a sausage plate. We were too hungry to document that. <laughs> get a bit of cheese, a bit of sour cream. It's a good like a savoury donut. Come back next week when we eat a sweet pizza. What do you think? This is it a range like of a donut. It's extremely chewy. Yeah, it is mm. like a donut, isn't it? Yeah. I'd quite like some more, please. <laughs> cool. <laughs> 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 What we did today, we had breakfast in the fanciest cafe in Budapest, which coincidentally is where we're staying in the hotel. We accidentally booked into quite a posh place in Budapest, even though it was cheap, I can't complain. A couple of beers, went to a rock bar, which was okay. kind of 70s stoner rock type stuff on, and then wandered back up to the hotel, and that was about it. And now we're gonna have a bath and then watch some TV. Didn't fancy going out on a Friday night. It looks like it's starting to fill up with people that are on hen nights and stag days and that sort of thing out there, which isn't really our sort of crowd. No, not really our sort of thing. And we're a bit tired. Well, I'm tired. Because I'm tired. I didn't sleep well last night. She was up dancing all night. Because somebody was snoring for most of the night. How would you know? You're out dancing all night. And also, the chandelier in this room likes to look like a big monster that's trying to invade its way into the room in, in the dark. So that's scary, and that made me not sleep. And the heating was on full. And the heating was on full blast. So we then tried to cool it down, and the aircon was on full, which is really loud. Not conducive to good night's sleep, and we've had to open the window now to, to try and cool down, which is why my eyes are so small. So small. Because I'm really dehydrated and hot. Yeah. We're going to go and have a bath now. And see you for day two tomorrow. Yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a failed mission to go to this one, but you know it's uh, not cool to see from the outside. It's just hard to show how nice the architecture and the sculpture is in there. Get park. It's very calm here and although it's the middle of winter it's really mild and warm even though it's a bit windy. It's a fine art museum there. Yeah, in fact I've been dragged to a second fine art museum in, in two days now. I don't think I really want to do two art museums back to back. But you'll do two beer and sausage emporiums back to back? Yeah. Okay seems reasonable. Yeah nice and sunny. Yeah definitely better than being at work. <laughs> Welcome to Beer Park for beers. The orbiting beers, <laughs> it's like an orrery of orrery of booze, as, it, as it's traditional. You're right there, just, just raise it to your mouth, go on. Quick, quick. Well, your one? No. <laughs> uh, That's not the way around that goes. No. You've got your wrong arm. <laughs> They'll charge you a euro to go up the tower, apparently. That's pretty generous of them. Again, it was only built in uh, 1896, even though know, it looks like medieval. Yeah, it seems like there's quite a bit of that about in Budapest. I know very little about the history, but from what we've seen, the cathedral was built in the late 1800s as well, but it looks like Gothic architecture. And obviously this does. Crazy like a fairy tale castle. Castle is here. We're about to go to. Originally, it was made out of cardboard, and the locals liked it so much that they decided to install it properly in stone. 
I don't know why they built it out of cardboard originally. I guess just to test it out to see what they thought. But it's pretty good. I can smell the cinnamon rolls as well. See as Nikki detects her natural prey. Cinnamon roll. person. See if they wave back. They're up there, yeah do it. Let's zoom in. This is how most museums and exhibitions have exits I think. Just walk across a little bit of wall which is just about wide enough for one person. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> just like Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Our kind of place. There's a stage and everything. Why didn't this come up on our searches, eh? It's just like that scene, I'm ready for my close-up Mr. Lee DeMille here. Who is it? Who's your friend? Is it a No, I'm sure you're not. Oh, Made a friend. Yeah. Have you never seen Phone Booth? No? Colin Farrell film? We'll go home now. It's the Cheney bus and we speak very closely so you can hear me. And we're in our cabin, which is our little paid for changing room. And you get to keep this for the whole time that you're here. And now we're going to go outside into the cold. Go and get in the baths. We've got our slippers on. We didn't realise that you have to buy slippers. Well, bring your own slippers if you want to. Are you ready? Right, this is this is us for the next eight and a half hours. Yeah. Well, it does say once you pay, you can stay in all day. Get all wrinkly. But it's really warm though. I didn't think it was going to be this warm. Yeah. You can, I can see why it's caught on now. I thought everybody's just a bunch of masochists. No, it's nice. Mm. It's, uh, should we bob over in that direction? Mm. 
this is quite pretty, but it does smell bad and it's stingy. That's what the actress said to the Why is it so stingy? It's because the medicinal effect of egg smell is well known to promote well being. Egg. egg. Show egg. Egg goes. Egg goes. Egg goes. <laughs> See? Try it. Water in here, besides it smelling like wet dog and the egg, has lumps of stuff going there. It? It's alright though, I think it's all right. it a bad rap. No, 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 I'm not like disgusted by it, but it's just got bits of it. <laughs> I'm tempted by these other baths that are up here. This is the bathroom there. Oh, is this the cubicle? Uh, walk straight out of the reception. bread I guess. There's some ciabatta here. I feel like we're in the first aisle. We can uh, look a bit further afield. Do you want to get stuff for breakfast tomorrow? It's worked well so far hasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. We're called chips. So the concept of supermarket challenge is to buy something. Surprise! It's like <laughs> Indiana Jones in here. We don't know what it is. Usually the fridge section is a good way to go to that but it's also the riskiest section is, is that actual sausage sausage or is that dog sausage that's sausage okay Pate? nah sausage that not nothing too big that kind of sausage of course i do i'm just gonna go for more dry you're having that are you we're having that crunchy things how about a tub Beetroots. Yeah, don't think we'll get through that in one night. How about a little slab of cheese? Additional cheese? Yeah, that looks like the standard one. That, that brown one's probably a fancy one. But um, slices. Yellow label attack. And curd snacks. Oh, there's more cheeses there. This one looks good. Peppery. I like the look of whatever this is. Ugh. German apparently. Do you trust this lift? Of course I do. It says it goes up to the National Gallery. This looks fine. It is. I knew you could trust me. I remember distinctly you saying, Neil, I love the way that you always know where you're going. You've got an unerring sense of direction like a cow or a pigeon. I like it. Yeah, they always lie down facing the north, don't they? No. Like dogs always poo to the north. No. That's why they go around the circus. 
here. We'd love to tell you what this building actually is, but we don't know. You've never looked better, my darling. Quite a rarity on this holiday has been out beyond sunset. We're like opposite vampires. We've had such a relaxing time and eaten such nice food in the late afternoon that we've just fallen asleep. It's you, Nikki Druce of Macabre London. I recognised you from the hem of your coat, <laughs> which is all we can see for some reason. <laughs> it's pretty dark. Ah. Careful. <laughs> we've been. I don't know where we've been. So we did the entrance. Here. The entrance seems to be in the middle somehow. So we're about halfway through. I think. She's escaping. Woo! Hey, what you doing? Drinking this pretty looking beer, which actually tastes quite nice. Yeah, it's alright. What's the, uh, what's the percentage? Fruity. Bloody hell. What is it? 0.5. I had a hunch. <laughs> this is St. Matthias trumpet. Church. Just come out of the labyrinth, and uh, this is a pretty church. It's got pretty multicolored tiles on the roof, and a black tower. And round the corner is the fisherman's bastion, which you can't quite see from here. We're going to go down there and look over the, the panorama of Budapest and hopefully see the lights over the parliament. Whilst well, having a typical Hungarian beer. I think it's German, isn't it? Probably. So, did they just not charge you at this time of night then? Yeah. What? I don't think they do, I think it's just like an outdoor... Um... No, it's got tickets and things, a ticket office. Okay, top tip folks, if you go to the Fisherman's Bastion, go uh, after 6.30 at night and it looks like they can't be asked on a Sunday, so they can't be asked to open tickets. Yeah.
a snack review with Nikki Juice. This is a Kalitka. It's meant to be some kind of chocolate nut thing. Oh, it looks beautiful. In, in 4K. 4K. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't 4K. It's wafery on the bottom. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Those sneaky Hungarians with their round Kit Kats. It's a round Kit Kat. What do you think tastes better, round or fingery? Round. That was Snack Review with Nikki Drews. Here we are, final night, finally made it to a rune bar. And the rune bars are in the Jewish quarter. They are all abandoned. Like derelict buildings. They're basically hipster bars. We don't mind hipster bars, hipster bars are good. So we're quite happy to go to them. It takes shabby chic to a, yeah, an extreme. Yeah, but it's not shabby chic though. It's not trying to be chic, it's just trying to be shabby. It's just pissed it down outside and most of the outside is outside <laughs> with no cover. So everybody suddenly buggered off or made it inside. And I keep trying to convince Neil to drink Polinka, but he's not into it. No, I've been burned by archers too many times. Now's not the time to bring it back. We've got, we've got a bottle of Unicum back at the hotel. I've got a bottle of Unicum. Is it Unicum or Unicum? Unicum. Okay. Unicum sounds disgusting. <laughs> Yay, these people are waving. Who's your friend? <laughs> these are all my friends now. Drink the thing is though, I want the sour cherry and not the apricot, so I need to taste both of these because they both look exactly the same. But I don't know. Chug, 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 chug. I'd rather just knock it back. Are you that worried about having an apricot? I don't mind which one it is, they both smell like petrol. Ready? Yeah. Have you ever tasted anything so nice in your life? That does not taste like either of the fingers. It's over to you now. I'd like to point out I've only had one small meal today, which you're about to have all over your lens, okay? Ready? <laughs> That definitely tastes like tequila. It doesn't taste like an actual flavour, does it? Did you say palinka or did you say tequila? No, I said palinka. It's not, it's not as tequila as tequila, but not in a fruity way. I definitely said a apricot and a sour cherry and she handed them back saying that's the apricot and that's the sour cherry. It just tastes like mess and fire. Oh, on the plus side we've got some unicum at home. Smash cut. It's a unicum. Uh, unicum? Unicum. I'm going to eat some cheese and a bit of ham. I first. think I'm going to have to eat some bread before I do that. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Palinka! <laughs> uh, it's all kicked in. It's all right. Okay, I think we need some snacks. Back in Simplicate, back at the scene of the crime, the Palinka. And today we came in to get food because they had a little food court thing and we wanted to try it out, so we did that. Neil doesn't feel very well. I'm hungover. We're doing good. <laughs> mm, somewhat hungover. Feeling a bit coldy. Don't want to go back to work tomorrow though. Nice food though. Yeah, it's good food. Yeah.
Oh god. That is so much worse than I was expecting. That is worse than Palenka. That is worse. Yeah, you can watch it. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe, please. <laughs> for the sake of this. And don't make our mistake. <laughs>